Test one, two, test one, two. This is not a test when heat trace video number six starts right now. Hello, Deshaun again here from the Dale Prentice Company. And believe it or not, this is heat trace video number six. And this is our final one in our heat trace series. Hopefully you enjoyed all of the videos that we've done so far. When I first started these videos, I imagined that each video would be around five minutes. The first video was about seven minutes and then they increased after that. I think the last one was about over 20 minutes long. So hopefully we can accomplish that with this video, but I'm not making any promises. So for this video, we're gonna be talking about heat trace testing procedures and warranties. So before we get into heat trace testing, we must first look at a very important topic. That is the heat trace installation manual. Now, when you receive heat trace on a job site, you should receive a heat trace installation manual. However, if you don't, you can always contact your rep or distributor, whoever you purchased the heat trace from, so they can give you one. Or you can go online to raykim.invent.com and you can download the manual there. Now, when you get the heat trace installation manual, it's very important that you go and familiarize yourself with it. They have a lot of important topics on there, such as how to store the heat trace cable. How do you mount the heat trace on the actual pipe itself? Do you do it at four o'clock and eight o'clock or do you do it at six o'clock and 12 o'clock? Also, if you need to spiral the cable, it shows you how to spiral the cable as well. For other topics that it covers, is how to install heat trace around valves, flanges, and also how to do a service loop. It's important also to know how to install heat trace around bins such as 90s. And finally, it has an actual maximum circuit link chart in the actual manual itself. That tells you which type of cable you have, what voltage, and also the amperage you use. When we do heat trace testing, it's called an insulation resistance test, better known as a mega test. Now, let me make a disclaimer. When you do a mega test, mega tests should be performed by a qualified electrician or a technician that's very qualified to do this. Most of the time, the installers are qualified electricians. However, sometimes that's not the case. So just be cognizant of that. So now let's talk about the actual test itself. We usually use two different types of tests. We have a test A and also a test B. Test A for self-regulating heat trace, you wanna put your two bus wires together. You'll take your black lead from your mega and put that on your two bus wires. You're gonna take your ground braid from your heat trace cable and put that on your red lead of your mega. You test this at 500, 1,000, and also 2,500 volts. And you want to wait at least a minute before you de-energize the test. For MI cable, you want to take your two leads, put them together, put that up under the black lead from your mega, and also you're going to put your red lead from your mega on your actual ground sheath. When you finish your mega test, make sure you cut the mega off and then you discharge your wires if it doesn't automatically do that. You're gonna take all of your readings, you'll write them down. We have actually a test form in the actual heat trace installation manual. So you could write your, your totals there and then you wanna save those for your next step. But before I get to that step, let's talk about test B. For test B, what you wanna do is measure between your ground braid and also the pipe. So I'll take the black lead from the mega and put it on the ground braid of the heat trace cable. Next, if I have a pipe strap, what I'll do is I'll put the red lead on the pipe strap that's attached to the actual pipe. And I'll take those readings at 500, 1000, and also 2500 for self-regulating cable. And when you finish that, your testing part is complete. Now let's get into the warranty. Invent or Raychem 
has a two-year standard warranty on all of its parts, components, and also heat trace cable. And that's from the date of purchase. Other manufacturers, it's a little difficult to determine, but usually what I see is about a year warranty. I'm sure you can get an extended warranty, but it's not necessarily published. Now for Invent, we have an extended 10 year warranty on the cable only. So in the case of a failure, Invent will replace your cable when you do this next step. The next step is you go on Invent's website. Up under extended warranty, you register all of your information and you submit it and they'll send you an email with the number for the warranty. Now it's very important that you keep track of this number because that's the only way they'll be able to reference it in the future. And that's simply it. That's your 10 year warranty. Now before I leave this point, I do want to mention that we do have a 20 year extended warranty for our roof and gutter rim products. So you do the same thing, you go on, you register, they'll send you that number, you keep that number, and it's as simple as that. Your warranty is done. I really hope you enjoyed that video and also this heat trace series. If you have any other issues or ideas that you want for future videos, please let us know. I'll leave our contact information at the end of this video. This is Deshaun again here from the Dell Prentice Company always reminding you to be safe.